All right, good afternoon, everyone. I just wanted to give you a quick update on where I'm at on the well project. Uh, for those of you who are kind of joining in here in the middle, I put uh, a three head well in, 25 feet deep. I am in Southwest Florida in the Port Charlotte, Englewood area. So what I did after I got the trenching uh, buried, basically I backfilled everything yesterday kind of bring you up to speed what I did this morning is I went down to Home Depot and I picked up uh, some bits and bobs in order to be able to make a couple of manifolds to get some sprinklers up and running. Looks like I'm going to have a little bit of delay on getting the irrigation folks out here so um, I'm going to go with this temporary setup for now and even though it's kind of the start of the rainy season here middle of May uh, rain is not in the forecast and with a new lawn I don't want it to die so anyway uh, what I wanted to show you I've got uh, five actually six heads six sprinkler heads running right now and uh, let me check here six sprinkler heads running no oh. there we go I had to get, uh, I had to make an adjustment here. So I had six, six sprinkler heads running and for the irrigation company, excuse the noise here, um, I'm looking right at 36 PSI, 37 PSI on the pump output. That's a little bit low. They really want about 40 to 45 PSI in order to create a zone. So I'm trying to figure out how many sprinkler heads, assuming the same PSI drop per head on a uh, regular irrigation system, like a rain, bir rain um, bird or a hunter irrigation system, if the PSI drop per head is the same as what I've got on this temp setup, then I can give a little bit of that data to my irrigation guys when they come out and they want to know what's going on with the well. So here's two heads out front. And remember, we're about, what, 30, 35 PSI right now. Here's two heads uh, getting the back corner of the yard. And then on the other corner, I've got another couple of heads right there. So what I wanted to do, it looks like I've got decent coverage, but the problem is when you drop your PSI, you got, or when you drop PSI, you've got to up the number of sprinkler heads. And if you up the number of sprinkler heads, then it's kind of a catch-22. You have to reduce or you have to run more zones. So it's a trade-off on cost. So with six running right now, I've got about 37 PSI. What I'm going to do is turn one of the sprinklers off and let's see what uh, let's see what the increase in pressure is. So now I'm running five heads, five sprinkler heads and it looks like I'm, I'm right there 40. 45, 44, 43. So, kind of in between. Maybe the irrigation company, they designed the zone so that, you know, you're running a certain number of heads or a certain number of bubblers or a certain number of soakers on one circuit and they uh, balance everything out. So, but anyway, there's the update. I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing. Uh, the well is continuing to clear, so a little bit of uh, stain color. The problem is down here, if you go too much deeper with your well, if you go down to 35 feet, you could pull 33 feet, but even at 35 feet, you might hit some salt water, and that obviously would not be a good thing. So I think we are good on the well. It's just that we have to figure out the irrigation component now. So if you like what you saw, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and 
as i get more into the project i'll be sure to post updates so thank you guys bye